Here we have four acrylic spheres, each filled with water and mica powder. The mica powder is very, very small particles and what we're going to do is cause circulation within the globes and use the mica to trace out any currents. So in fact the, the water with the mica is, would be known as a rheoscopic fluid which just means literally current showing. So to do this at the base of each sphere there is a round magnet with two little cube magnets, one on each side and what we're going to try and do is spin these up so that they disturb the mica powder and create a rotational current. To do this the cylinder in the middle between the four consists of a motor with a horizontally mounted bar magnet. Now this spins up to quite a high speed and the rotating magnetic field couples with the magnets in each of the discs and they spin up and throw up the mica powder so we're going to see that now if we turn on the motor and sure enough the mica powder is coming up and we're beginning to see to trace out the actual currents that are flowing within each of these spheres now the motor itself, I, originally I powered it with um, a couple of AA batteries but it's actually better if I supply it with a fixed supply of 3 volts so it's wired in so it will go at a constant speed indefinitely. So this is pretty effective for showing what's actually happening within the globes when, when they spin up. 